Today, I'm going to show you how to make the yun yang, also known as yun yang, or tea with coffee. Welcome to this special series on how to make boba drinks using restaurant quality grade ingredients found in most bubble tea shops. I've owned successful award-winning bubble tea shops over the years and in this video I'm going to share with you one of my recipes. This drink today, also known as Jopi Chum, is quite popular and I'm excited to share it with you. The measurements for this video today will be in milliliters, however I will be sure to put the conversions in the description below. The thing to keep in mind with all of my recipes is that not all powders are created equal. Depending on which brand you use, things could differ, like flavor, uh, how well it blends, is it chunky, does it melt really easily? So just bear that in mind when making this recipe. The basis of this drink today is that you're taking a Hong Kong style milk tea and adding either a shot of espresso or coffee to it. My classic milk tea recipe has a very similar flavor to Hong Kong style. So we're basically gonna be taking that recipe and switching it up. This is an industry standard bubble tea scoop. It's approximately 15 to 21 milliliters and it's just under one tablespoon. When working at a bubble tea shop, consistency is key. You wanna make sure that your drinks come out tasting the same every single time. Now the best way that I find to do this is by scooping, shaking real quick, and then getting a level top, just like that. Now, a lot of places might do Hong Kong style milk tea uh, the traditional way with tea and condensed milk and evaporated milk. And then some bubble tea shops will do a classic milk tea with, again, black tea, creamer, and fructose, just very basic. However, I personally, for my classic milk tea, like to use a classic milk tea powder. I feel it makes it much more rich, thick, flavorful and you know there's certain flavors and spices in it that just give it a really unique flavor and it's one thing that makes my shops very different than other bubble tea shops when it comes to the classic milk tea. So to begin, two scoops of the classic milk tea powder. And remember, this classic milk tea powder is a flavor-based powder, which means that you're going to need to then add creamer and or milk and fructose and or sugar. And next is two scoops of creamer powder. And then we're going to add 14 milliliters of fructose. Each pump is seven milliliters each, so all we're going to simply do is go pump, pump. I prefer using this method when it comes to the fructose. It's very quick and easy. It is actually very efficient and it saves loads of money as opposed to getting one of those giant fructose machines, which is a lot of hassle, a lot of expense, and it does tend to clog quite easily. Okay, so this next step is for us to add a shot of espresso to our beverage. So personally, in my shops, I really enjoy having this mini compact Nespresso machine. It works out really well. All you need is just these pods. Each pod has a shot of espresso in it. They are relatively cheap, actually, believe it or not, and it's a really, really good, high quality grade product that your customers will really appreciate and enjoy. And it's really easy to use. All you simply do is put the pod in the machine, hit the espresso button, and then the espresso comes out. Doesn't get much easier than that. But of course, if you do have an espresso machine already in your shop, or you really wanna focus on having something that you can create uh, a lot of coffee drinks, then perhaps that's something you wanna invest in. But if you just have a small bubble tea shop and you only wanna have espresso as an add-on or in a couple drinks, then this would be ideal for you from experience. Now, normally what I would do is I'd simply take my shaker, put it under, and then put the espresso directly into it. But just for this video, so you can see how that sort of works, I'm going to put this off to the side and put a measuring jug right here. That way you can see exactly how much espresso comes out. First you wanna turn on your machine, make sure it's warmed up, open the top, put your pot in, close the top, and hit espresso. That smells really nice. So as you can see, we have the exact right amount for this recipe. It's 40 milliliters of the espresso liquid and about 10 milliliters of the crema on top. That's the exact amount that we want for this recipe. Now normally if we were just going to simply be doing a classic recipe, we would be putting in about 25 milliliters of very hot water for the first step. We're actually not gonna do that first step because this 
is hot and it will melt the powder. All right, so I'm just gonna put this espresso into the classic powder mix. And before I stir that, I just wanna mention that the Nespresso machine is actually really easy to clean. It doesn't need a lot of maintenance. It needs descaling maybe um, every three to six months or more, depending on how often you use it. But the one thing that keeps it going really good, and this is a top tip, when you're done using the Nespresso pod, you open it up, that ejects the pod into this little reservoir area, close it back up, and then we're going to push the small button, which will run fresh water through the entire system, including the area that may have had any espresso touch it. That way there's no buildup, the longevity of the machine will continue on, and this thing will last you for years to come. So now that you've cleaned out the machine real quick, you'll just throw out that water. And if you don't use the machine that often, um, you can do it after each pull. But if you do use it a lot during the day, then that process can just be done every night. Okay, so now we're gonna give it a really good stir. At this point, you really wanna make sure that there's no clumps and that everything has dissolved really well. We will be putting an additional bit of liquid in here, which will continue that process. But right now, let's definitely focus on that because this is your best opportunity. And now, in your bubble tea shop, you will come over to your black tea dispenser and dispense 100 milliliters of black tea. And if you don't own a bubble tea shop and you're making this drink from home, I will go ahead and put a link above here where you can learn how to make a strong brew of black tea for these beverages. I will also put a link in the description below. And let's go ahead and add our black tea to our beverage. We're going to give it one more quick stir and make sure that everything is combined. Next, we're going to put ice into our shaker. You're going to need about six to eight large ice cubes or about a heaping ice scoop full. This shaker is meant for a 350 milliliter beverage. And so the idea is the liquid was about here and now we're going to be adding ice almost to the very top. And yes, the ice is going to melt when we do this next step. We're going to shake it, get it really, really cold. And when that ice melts, it's going to dilute that mixture and get it just absolutely perfect. And then we will pop on our middle section and our top section. And now we're gonna head over to the shaker machine. All right, so here we have a shaker machine for our shaker. Now, if you don't have a shaker machine at home, you can shake it for maybe uh, two to three minutes until you get a really good condensation around the outside where it's practically dripping off. But if you do have a shaker machine, then 30 seconds to one minute will do the job. Yep, this is perfect. It's got a really nice watery condensation around the outside, nice and cold. It's gonna taste amazing. And next we have our sealing machine. You find these at more traditional bubble tea shops. It's a great way to put a seal on top of your drink and take it away. And then when you're ready to drink it, you just pop the straw in and you're all set to go. So basically you put your cup in here and your topping and your drink, you hit the manual operation button and these seals will go around like this. There's a hot element in the center that will push down onto your cup and that will seal the top on. Now, normally with milk tea drinks, I tend to go for a traditional boba, AKA tapioca pearl. However, with this beverage, because it has coffee in it, I find that cherry bubbles, AKA juice balls, go really well together. It's a really nice combination of flavor. And then we're going to pour our drink in. Now remember, you're only gonna take off this top section. Make sure that you hold on to the two middle sections. That way it doesn't come flying off. We're just gonna pour it in like this. And once you've poured out all the beverage, there will be just enough room on the top for a couple ice cubes. Just make sure you don't go above that top line. And of course, make sure that there's no liquid on that top rim. And then we'll hit the button. There we are, we're all set. Nice and strong, got that seal on tight. It's ready to go. Let's try it out. Well guys, I can't wait to drink this. The Ying Yang is one of my favorite beverages, especially with those cherry bubbles in the bottom. 
I got my reusable glass straw, boba size, and let's see how it tastes. Mm. Oh. So, so delicious. I really enjoy how the espresso flavor comes through with the classic milk tea. And it's got a really nice sweetness, creaminess. You get the tea flavor and the coffee flavor. It's a really great combination. And I hope that you have an opportunity to make this either at home or at your bubble tea shop. Well guys, thanks so much for joining me today as I made this delicious yin yang milk tea boba drink using restaurant quality grade ingredients found in the majority of bubble tea shops. Please be sure to like this video and give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and while you're there, please feel free to subscribe. I bring you a brand new drink video every week that I really think you're going to enjoy. See you soon.